Welcome back, everyone. Members of the APC in Ekiti State and a coalition of civil society groups took to the streets of Adwekiti today to celebrate the return of President Buhari to Nigeria. The coalition also berated the state governor, Ayodele Fauci, over his attacks on the president. Well, in a related development, it is a work-free day for the people of Kogi State in Nigeria's north-central region after the governor, Yaya Bello, declared a public holiday to mark the return of the president. Well, I have uh, joining me now from our Buja studio, former governor of Edo State, Mr. Adams Oshemale. Many thanks for coming on the program tonight, uh, Governor Oshemale. Let me quickly ask you, uh, are you worried in the manner in which uh, the president handled the issue relating to restructuring the agitations and clamor across the country? Were those words of ease sufficient to douse the tension in the land? Well, I, I think first is that most Nigerians, I believe all well many Nigerians are relieved that the president is back. And I think it was also strategic that he took time to address the country, um, to confirm that he's not only back, that he's fit and able to return to office, and to give those words of assurances. As they say, minimal words, maximum wisdom. I believe that all we needed to know is that this president is back and is ready to work. Uh, no speech without tension. A lot of these tensions are sponsored by people who have lost out of power. It is those who are victims of, uh, you know, some of the struggles of this government, whether they were benefiting from, from uh, insecurity or they were merchants of, uh, of uh, free money from NMPC and other sources, you know, those who are being called upon to account for all of the things that they stole, they have a lot to throw around. And given the level of unemployment in the country, it's very easy to assemble people, give their 2,000 to play a placard, and suddenly everybody has just become an ethnic champion. For me, I'm relieved that the president is clear, and he, he, I think he spoke the, the, the right language and employed the proper body language, namely that the unity of our country is not a matter to be negotiated. We can work hard to make Nigeria the country that we want it to be, and the idea of people who have lost out of power recoiling as certain ethnic champions and seeking to undermine the peace and security of the country cannot be taken as a joke. I believe that criminal issues should be dealt with firmly, and nobody should be seen to be above the law. Whether you hide other ethnic uh, uh, shields or you hide other any primordial sentiment, religion, whatever it is, once you cross the red line to choose the, the president's words, you should be dealt with family according to law. That is my position, and I feel reassured that the president has let everybody know that it is not going to be, uh, we are not a banana republic where all manners of people can come under guises to seek to demand the country. We have economic challenges, we have unemployment challenges, and what we need at this point is that all hands should be on deck. INEC has not yet declared the uh, re electionary campaign, so this is the moment we should work for our country whether at local government level, at state level, and of course at the federal level. So for me, the, what is important in the statement is that all of the issues that have been of concern to people, I believe he has addressed them without going into specific details. Broadly uh, speaking, I believe those, that brief speech was for me very reassuring. Are you also reassured on the perception of, the, of some session of the public as to the deliveries or the deliverables of your party headed by President Muhammadu Buhari. You have just less than two years to go. And if you look at a lot of things that the president listed out here, from economy to anti-corruption war to security and some of the, uh, the spine of uh, the administration's agenda, are you worried that your party may not have lived up to expectations? I think the party has lived up to a petition. The government has, doing, has done very well. Nobody promised miracles. There are no miracles in the life of nations. And what takes several years to destroy cannot be fixed in two years. Yes, we have less than two years to go. But I believe that a couple of things have changed. In fact, many, many things have changed. I mean, you will agree that for a long, long time, uh, corruption was more or less adopted as a fundamental principle of state policy, such that if you complain against corruption, you get the sack. And Emir of Kano, a governor of CBN, was sacked for raising uh, 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 the alarm that, you know, uh, all was not well with the economy and that too much money was, the economy was bleeding through massive looting. He got the sack. 
we transmitted, we have, we have moved from that regime of speak out and be sacked to one in which if you speak out against corruption, you now have reward for whistleblowers. This is a fundamental shift, and it's not within the realm of theory. I believe you can count. I mean, you, you are easily one of the most credible stations in the country. I mean, the amount of revelations, the amount of money that have been recovered, the, the confessions in courts, the confessions not just at the realm of EFCC, the ones that, have be, that are before the courts. So you can't question that this president has provided the right political leadership to deal with corruption-related issues. Then you have the issue of security. From a country that could not conduct national elections, and we had to postpone our elections because Boko Haram was controlling over 80 local government areas, and therefore national election was not possible. Today, yes, we still have economic challenges, but like one of the speakers said earlier, relative to the past, I believe a lot has changed. Our armed forces have regained self-confidence. There are no stories of soldiers running away from battle, and defense funds are no longer converted to pit latrine and other things like that. So, yes, we have office all the problem, but there can be no question that a solid foundation has been laid. Uh, uh, Governor Shomali, uh, if, if I may quickly take you up on uh, very important issues that a lot of people or analysts believe that the, the president left out in his speech today, for example, uh, there were anticipation and expectations that he will give details of his ailment. And also, there are talks about perhaps there is a need for the, the cabinet to, to be rejigged. Uh, and he left those out. Do you think that he needs to pay attention to, for example, rejigging his cabinet immediately? I don't think that rejigging cabinet is a matter of national brokers. You know, it is a routine thing that every executive has the discretion to do when to change your ministers, when to reassign your ministers, and when to drop some or appoint some. It doesn't have to come by way of a brokers. I think what Nigerians wanted to know, first, I, I watched you on, 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 on Saturday. You were wondering why did the president not, uh, you asked question whether the president did not spare the guide of honor. And I'm happy with the reply that the Honorable Minister of Formation gave you. So there were people who might still want us to believe that the president is not capable of speaking. And Harvey spoke and spoke to all of those issues that have been of concern, security, emergence of ethnic champions, those who want to create a republic within a republic, as if treason is uh, a tea party, you know, and right. the issue of headsmen mm. who are... Uh, no, 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 I'm in, afraid we, are, we have to go because of our Every time. Every other thing that matters. Mm. I don't think I will expect the president to say, to say tomorrow I'm going to reshuffle my cabinet. All right. When he's going to do it... We, we must leave it at that, uh, Governor Adam Soshemele, former governor of Edo State. Many thanks for your thoughts there. Thank you for coming on the program. Mr. Akio also, many thanks for coming on the program. And that's our show for tonight. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Sean Wakimbale. Bye for now.